Welcome to this PANS demonstration video, which will show you how to make replica petroglyphs. First, you probably want to know what are petroglyphs and why they are important. Long before writing was developed, people recorded events, ideas, plans and feelings by marking them on a rock. Sometimes they carved into stone, sometimes they scratched off the surface coating, and sometimes they painted on the rocks. Australia is home to some of the oldest and most rich collections of rock art in the world, and interpreting these ancient artworks provides valuable insights into our history. To create the petroglyphs, the weathered rock surface was knocked off or ground down to expose lighter, fresh rock below. We can make replica petroglyphs using plaster of Paris and colour oxide, which you can buy in hardware stores or art shops. You will also need some water, newspaper, disposable containers or dishes, an old spoon and a nail or a kebab skewer. You should make sure you're wearing old clothes or an apron and safety glasses. Make sure you have adult supervision as plaster of Paris can be dangerous. We also recommend doing this outside if you can, as a lot of dust can be created. Put on your safety glasses and make sure that newspaper is down on your working space. Add about four tablespoons of plaster of Paris to a container. Add a few tablespoons of water and start to mix. Keep adding the water, a spoonful at a time, until it's nice and smooth with a thickness and consistency like soured cream. Pour the mixture into one of the disposable dishes so that it's about finger thickness. This will represent the fresh, unweathered rock. Allow this layer to dry. This will probably take about half an hour. Repeat the process using only about half as much plaster of Paris this time. Add a small sprinkle of the oxide colouring so that you have a reddish mixture. This will represent the outer weathered rock. Spread the mixture onto the white layer this only needs to be a very thin layer. The thinner it is, the easier the next stage will be. Allow the plaster to harden. Again, this will probably take about half an hour. While you're waiting, you may want to start drawing designs, ideas for your petroglyphs. They should be something that represents you or that's important to you perhaps your family, hobbies, or pets. When the plaster has dried, then use your nail or kebab stick to carefully scratch out your design. Now that you've learned a bit about petroglyphs, you might want to do some further research. Why not research petroglyph discoveries in other countries? Or find out where the nearest rock art is to you? You could discover more about Aboriginal culture and history. Look in your local library for Dreamtime stories, books about language, and if you're a keen gardener, think about growing some native fruit trees. Thanks for watching this PAMS demonstration video. For more fun, hands-on earth science activities, visit our website, pams.edu.au.